So, hello everybody! What is going on, dudes? It is Kibe Shimaki here, and welcome back to some more The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages! Last time, well, we went ahead and made our way through towards Crescent Island. We went ahead and got a lot of our things recovered. Now we have nothing more to do but to head to where we rightfully belong. Head to the other side and hopefully gain access to the Guardian of the island. Really, there isn't much more to it. There isn't much more to really note. Except that we've obtained all the items that were once taken from us by the Toke. And now, we are set and ready to challenge the next dungeon. With that being said, let's not waste any more time. Let's get on moving. Let's get our groove on. Let's keep on pushing forward. Go scale the wonderful, wonderful ladders. Boom. Now with our shovel, we can actually okay, not take damage from this thing. Where are you? Oh, okay, you're up there. Come on, spawn down here. Oh, really? You're just keep spawning up there? Whatever. Alright. With our shovel, we're actually able to gain access to this now. Boom, bam, bop, boom, boom, boom. Thank you. Let's play our harp. Let's move. Go. With that music played out, here we are. On the other side. Thank you. We definitely got some exploring to do before we go there. So we head this way. We find ourselves. Let me ease your weirdness. Close your eyes. We find ourselves at a great fairy fountain. Any, if any of these are found at any point in time, upon restarting your game, or at least, well, turning it off and back on, you're able to access these fairy fountains and revitalize your energy. Meaning you'll get full hearts, of course, for every time you run across them. So it's definitely something worth noting, and something worth keeping in mind in case you're low on health for any particular reason. Aside from that, you can take the beaten path, the broken path, and find ourselves here within level 3, Moonlit Grotto. Yeah, we're finally here, and oh boy, we have our work certainly cut out for us with this place. I won't even lie. Go on, let's get our bombs out. Boom. Don't believe ya. Cool. There's not much more to it. We have these things, which I don't remember exactly off the top of my head how to defeat them. Go get ourselves our bombs. I want to say it might have something to do with the bombs, but I'm not 100% sure. Let's just throw a bomb and try. Aha! It does have to do with bombs. No, you jumped right at me. Stay away! Get bombed. Bound? Yes, cool. Doing so, we immediately attain the dungeon map. Thank you. We can definitely see just how expansive this place is and how much there is to it. Moonlit Grotto, it's two stages, and it definitely looks like an adventure in and of itself. So, we definitely have our work cut out for us with uh, what we have to do. We're definitely going to be utilizing a lot of our artillery to get through this place, so keep that in mind. Knock out any grass patches you see, and make sure you restock on bombs, because you're going to be needing them throughout this entire thing. Go. Hearts, definitely worthwhile to get. Now we have ourselves my favorite enemy, Mini Moldorms. Yep, they're back, ladies and gentlemen, and they, of course, are ready to cause me some headaches. Don't need anything in here, I believe, or there's nothing in here in particular that we can get, so let's keep on moving, and now we have the Iron Faces. Really, you just want to try to st strike at their tail ends, because that is where they're most vulnerable. Cool. Doing so, we hit this. There was a loud sound far off. 
like something being knocked loose. Hmm, it appears that we are certainly making changes already in the dungeon itself. No, and you have mystery seats. The four crystals tie it all together. Tie it all together, you say. Okay. So we'll definitely have to keep that in mind. We've knocked down one crystal, we still have four, three more to find. And here is the main gimmick of this area. This little contraption, I guess, basically knocks us in a set direction that it's pointing one time only, so we really do have to just go back and forth and wrap around this place a lot. Let's see. Mm. Okay, so let me get a bomb. Pull that up. Blow that up. Okay. Can't push that. Can move that. That doesn't really do much for me. How can I gain access to there? So you can't push anything else. Ooh, I messed up, didn't I? I messed up. I can't push this one back. No! Alright, time to exit and re-enter the room. <laughs> Damn it! Okay, it's fine. Should try it again. What's that there? Okay. Now with that... Right, we can push this up. Smack that. There's a loud sound far off, like something being knocked loose. Another one. Go. Now we just push this all into place. In return. Small key. Perfect. In my feather. Get more bombs, because we definitely used up some for that. If I'm being honest, I love the theme that's within Moonlight Grotto. It sounds so, like, well orchestrated. Very, um. I'm oh innocent. What's the right word? Um, very, like. Just well done. Well put together. Like, it's definitely a dungeon theme. And it definitely just shows, like. A hard fight coming up, or something like that. No, come on! That was definitely the wrong side to push it. We can definitely access the under portion, but there's no reason to. That'll loop us that way, if we go that way... Okay. That leads nowhere, really. Yeah, because if we take... If we go this way, we go around, we're still gonna end up back here. So there's no real reason to do that. And there's nowhere else to go from up here. Oh, there's another one of you. But that's not all of them. And I can't push that, so... Into the hole. Well, now we have access to the lower floor. No! Go. You. Are cool. They're all done, and as you can see... It's definitely just a mimic pattern. The difference is that, well, how they interact and how they move, or how it all moves all together. So, definitely something we have to keep in mind as we traverse this place. Go. Four hits for the Moldorm to go down, or the mini Moldorm. In here, these little bunnies. I forget they're called, but yeah, we have them to deal with. I used up all of those, I didn't mean to. Huh. Huh. Yes! Thank you! Gimme. We're gonna spawn again. So of course, before going down, we're gonna go up. And punch this. There's a loud sound for all. We go. Now we're good to keep going down. Of 
cool. Take it, don't need to worry about the heart. Give me my feather back. I still haven't found a compass. That kind of makes things interesting. Can't hit you. See a bombable wall there, but I don't think we can do much with it now. At least I'm thinking we can't do much with it now. So my guess is we have to time this to activate that. Huh. Oh, I'm so good at this. Alright, cool. Probably blow you up, actually. No! Aha! I knew it! And in doing so, we get ourselves the compass. Excellent, so now we can actually see where the boss room is and all the chests that we're still missing. Not bad. Head back on up. Cool. Before we jump down, we have this little area to reach. Aha! Push that back. Okay, what's the spacing? There and there. Perfectly matched. Cool. Small key obtained. I'm trying to think, is there anything else that we need to get from up here? I don't think there's... a small key? In the upper area that we can use. I'm at least trying to remember it. I don't think so. I think we got all that we can. So now... I should definitely head back down. Yeah. Don't know, the only thing I think of is just head back. Get away. <laughs> My bombs. Ah! Go. Feather. Remove. Stop! Ah, oh, that's what you asked for. I'm no, I'm not going down to these mini moldorms. I refuse. I've lost the moldorm many times before. I refuse to die to moldorm again. And I know I'm gonna suffer for it in the next game, but whatever. Is there anything else in here worth noting? Nothing. 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 Just a bunch of rupees and such, which I mean, it's not bad. Okay, I believe where we want to go is this northern path first. Take this, go down, ignore the iron faces, and then wrap back around. Boom, boom, boom. Now we have straight up. No, the like likes. Now, if you had a shield, this is where interacting with these things it can be annoying. Like likes. When faced with them, and if you get hit by them, they will take your shield. No other way to go around it. They will take your shield, and you will be forced to obtain another one. Which sucks, but it is the way that things are with like likes. Okay. Damn. Alright, I was hoping that would work. <laughs> so we can't bomb it. I had to give it a try anyways, but... It's fine. Took care of all the like likes. I can go to the right or I can go north. Let's check in with the owl first before I make my decision. Stone soldiers do not fear swords. Okay. Let's try going to the right first then before I head north. Aha! Bombs. Bombs everywhere. Step on this, and they're gonna activate immediately, so... <laughs> oh god, okay. I don't know if they move according to my patterns. Oh my goodness, but I actually might go down. I'm a fool. Okay, that's one. That's two, actually! Ooh, that was a really bad throw. No, I have no more bombs! No! Damn it! I have to go back. I can't believe I love that. Okay, hearts and bombs would be nice. Okay, so I got enough bombs, but do I have enough hearts? No, 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 no. Nothing. Damn it! Okay, I can still do this. I have a heart and a half. 
Will I actually get my first game over? I don't know which way you guys are going. That's the only crappy thing. Like, I wish I could get you guys lined up here. There we go. That's one. Ah. Stay there. It's two. Come down here. Come down here. <laughs> Come on! Why were the first two super easy? Why did I drop there? I'm gonna blow myself up trying to take care of these things. Where are you going? Where are you going? God, you guys. No, I only have one left. God, why? <laughs> yes, thank you. No game over here. No. I refuse. I refuse. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Ah, they're coming straight for me? Oh, come on, man. You guys went straight for me. Okay. Did I get three? There's no way I got three. I got three. How did I get... You know what? Not gonna ask. I'm just accept it and be happy. Ah! Yes! Thank you! Gimme! I'm gone! Ha! <laughs> okay, cool. That was not fun, but I did it. Another heart. Thank you. Will you always give me a heart, actually? <sighs> I hope you kind of do keep giving me a heart. I'm gonna try. Run. Nope. Get me out of that room. No. Damn, alright. That was hopeful. I have a heart and a half. No! This room? Okay. No! No! Run, 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 run! I'm chilling. Ugh. That is definitely how you get me panicked. <laughs> God. Ugh, I don't know how I did it, but. Ah! Nope! I should have known better. Alright, I got my heart back at least. I expect another one up here somewhere. Aha. You're both over there in that one slot. That's right. Ah, gotcha. Alright, cool. Back to full health. <sighs> no game overs. None. None. Don't remember. Aha! Uh, yeah. Aha! That's right. You guys can't stall me. Oh, come on, how did I miss that? I could open that, but I'm not going to yet. Still, I don't want to go get this chest. Hey, 30 rupees. I'll definitely take that. That's, that's uh, super worthwhile to obtain. Thank you. Ugh, oh, my hands. Thank you. Let's run. Damn, you little rats. And boom. So we've cut down, or at least we've hit, I think, three or four crystals so far. Which is not too bad. Moldorms. Oh no, I know what this room is. I remember this room. These guys! I forgot what they're called, but they basically mimic your movement patterns in the opposite direction. Your key way of beating them is literally by just lining them up together, if at all possible then just sword slashing them. There we go. In doing so, we obtain this dungeon's key item, the Seed Shooter. Pick your seeds, fire, then watch them ricochet. I believe all seeds gain access to this and they all have one ricochet per use. So if we load up an ember seed, 
fire to the center. Boom. Oh, never mind, they have multiple. Okay, I wasn't sure if it was just one or multiple, but yeah. They basically can fire off in any direction. They have ricochets for a few times, and it basically helps using them at longer distance. But hey, that's honestly pretty good, and I think this is a pretty decent stopping point. We made it pretty far in the dungeon. We've gained access to a lot of it, and we've explored the entire first floor. Only one more chest remains here, and then we have the entire lower floor to gain access to and see everything that there is available to it. But that is going to be it from me for now. We've obtained this dungeon's key item, and now we have nothing more but to hopefully make it to the end without sustaining too much damage. But we'll see about that. And that'll be it from me for now. I hope you all did enjoy. I hope you all continue to enjoy. Don't you dare. And I will most certainly be catching all of you dudes next time. Peace out, everybody. No! Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Alright, now I'm done. Now I'm done. <laughs> Peace out, everyone.